So when you first started, there was a time that you couldn't sell. You had very few followers, five to say. Five or four, yeah. 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 Did you see a point of making that effort, and why did you carry on? What made you carry on? I, I wasn't myself at the beginning when I was trying to sell goods to viewers in front of a screen. I belittled myself. I thought that was meaningless because I used to be a teacher, an English teacher, for eight years. So I defined myself as someone who spread the knowledge and what ambition, what mission they should make for the future. I am not the person to yell in front of screen. That wasn't something a teacher should do. You don't take pride in what you had to do. I didn't find the turning point, even though the world was changing for me. Clap. And reconstructed again. I didn't realize that I was too obsessed with my past. Until one day, I learned the story behind the farm product from Gansu Province, a small county. Young people go to big cities for better jobs. The elderly lack of care, and they still need to work in the fields. So I suddenly realized that, yeah, that was me. Come on. You were from a certain kind of village, just like that, a small county, just like that, and now you have the chance to do the right thing. Why are you hesitating for a long time? So I suddenly realized that I cannot be obsessed with my past as a teacher. I do enjoy it, but when you have no choice, make your current choice correct. So when you were making that transformation, what was the most difficult thing for you? How do I define myself? Yeah, how I define myself is the major key for my work. Because who do you think you are, and what do you think you are? I think this is the two major questions everybody should consider.